you know, never felt right in, in the uniform. So I wasn't altogether surprised that I went down different routes, but turned up, you know, being the president and stuff for a nano. It wasn't for very long, though, was it? Was it was Mark Shepard the president at the end? Yes. Yes. See. Yes, he was. He was the president. Haley, wake up, watch the show. But, um, it, it, you know, there was a moment in season one where the show had started to come out and, and, and then the sort, of, um, the sort of highfalutin press started noting how topical and how, you know, challenging it was to what. And, and I was like, yes, I sort of felt it was kind of, but it was really weird to have the people that you respect kind of say that back and then it transformed and so no I, none of us had any idea that we'd be taken as seriously as you. And then we went to Peabody. It was we went like, to Peabody, whatever that is. But with South Park, so I mean yeah. <laughs> it was the same year as South Park, so I think they were trying to diversify. Yeah, and then and, and then they, yeah they turned into fans, weren't they? They were fans yeah. of ours. That was really yeah. for me. Yeah. yeah it was really it was great. interesting. Anyway. Yeah. So yeah it, it was a revelation, a constant revelation really. And thank you for bringing us such a beautiful piece of television. Thank you for being a part of it. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'm a fan of both of your new shows, Monday Mornings and Longmire. Woo! And uh, my, my quick questions are about both of those. Jamie, did you lose a foot race with Alfred Molina, and that's why you have to take an American accent? <laughs> and, and I don't think I can lose a foot race to Alfred Molina if I try. Unless Fred. But hey, 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 I think you will admit he's not an athlete. <laughs> I know Fred. And after this morning, he was a naysayer yeah. about the London Olympics. Fred, if you're out there, we proved you wrong. Um, uh, no, I, I actually would have been upset had I. I love doing American accent. I love um, living in the States. I am an American, very proud. and. Uh, uh, it's nice for me not to sort of wear kind of my differences as a badge. I, I kind of enjoy being, you know, just being under the radar and not, not being British. There's so many Brits around anyway, it's kind of nice not to be <laughs> noticed as one of them. So no, not at all. I was very, very adamant that I, I would be American and the character that Sanjay wrote was Californian specifically. And I, you know, uh, I, I wanted to stay true to that character. And Katie, um, you were in our, okay, one of the Longmire episodes and involved fracking. Uh, how, how no, surreal no, 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 no. How no. surreal was that to have everyone swearing around you on the set? You know, what's funny is that's the second time that I've done that. Um, I did, um, two of our writers from Battlestar went to CSI um, after, and I was in LA, um, literally between movies and had like two months off and didn't want to, I wasn't going to work and they were like, well, what if it's in LA? I was like, oh, well, okay, whatever. So I went and I worked, I did the three episodes of CSI and one of the episodes of that was actually about fracking as well. So, <laughs> I've already done it. <laughs> um, it's weird because like, I didn't, you know, I tweeted a picture with me holding the sign that said something about frack, and I thought I was being ironic, and then somebody started yelling at me for being political on Twitter, and I was <laughs> like, oh, I remember that. can't win. Um, so, um, I don't know, it's funny, because for me, I I've never said frack in my actual like life. I've always been a fan of the actual word. <laughs> I've, been using it for quite a long time and I've been washed out with soap many times by my mother from the time I was probably 13. <laughs> um, and I've just gotten better at it since I've gotten older. So, um, <laughs> to, to have, uh, to have, like, I don't know, like, the fracking was funny because, like, everybody, like, all the extras on set wanted pictures of me with their signs. and So, I don't know, it's kind of cool. It's kind of nice. But there's a lot of people that watch Longmire that have no idea what Battlestar is. So. No. <laughs> the the yeah, first yeah. time I was listening to NPR, and they were, they were, I just turned it on and got in my car, and I always had NPR on, and I was just driving. And they started talking about the problem with fracking going on all across the southern <laughs> states, especially in Texas. And I said, no, NPR's like doing a whole piece on, on, <laughs> on, on Battlestar. And I listened to this thing, and it was like Left, Right, and Center, or something like that, which is a show where you get a right wing, a left wing, and someone in the middle, and they were having this debate about fracking. Oh, this is this is this is something else. I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna 
radical run right now. We've really hit it here. Like we've got politicos <laughs> debating um, about the start. And it, it took me literally a 20 minute drive to work out they were talking about natural gas and, <laughs> and not natural gasps. Um, very disappointed that the world has moved on and fracking now means the other thing and not our thing. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate y'all showing up. Uh, my name is Sam. Hi, Sam. From the, the, the arc of the show, so many different tendrils coming around the show. So many different storylines. At the end of this, at, at, I guess in the, in the season finale, everything kind of had to piece together. What were y'all thoughts on how everything ended up in the, in the season finale? The series finale. Um, <laughs> but basically, we with Katie with with kind right. of your your fate, whatever that really meant. And then, <laughs> and, then, and then you know how how Lee ended up doing whatever he did. <laughs> doing whatever hell he was doing. Yeah. And then, like, as he's looking around, like, no, and then I pop him and go, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just watch me wander off and then gradually get up and go, I never have to see that guy again. <laughs> and then yeah. Mary McDonald high fives me. Yeah. Like, we were like, pull the wool over their ass. <laughs> um, I, I was happy with the way Starbuck ended because I thought that they, there was really no way to kind of explain that and, and wrap it up. I mean, I think that to, to go and dig deeper into all the mythology that was just that character, it would have needed another two hours, you know, and I just didn't have the time. Um, that was one thing. The one thing I didn't, that I wasn't okay with was that she had kind of no um, emotional resolution to take with her into this afterlife event of whatever, wherever she went or whatever she is. Um, and so I had that scene with Sam. Um, um, kind of rewrote that a little bit. Um, and we put in, there was supposed to be no dialogue in that scene. And he and I added all that dialogue. Because I wanted her to kind of, um, I wanted to leave that character happy to a certain, not even happy, happy is the wrong word, I guess um, centered and complete, at least in one part of her life. Um, yeah, so I don't know, that's the only thing I changed, just because I, I wasn't happy with that. So. Uh, I, I loved it, I loved everything about it. Um, you know, I, I, it's interesting. I haven't seen the end of Breaking Bad, um, so don't tell me what happened. So, <laughs> the season behind it, everyone seems to be delighted with how that ended, and they're talking about how the perfect way to end the show, whatever that was, I don't know. I'll find out. Um, and then I'll be able to answer the question a little better. But I, I, I loved it because, I, you know, if the show was had, had some purity, it was, you know, the, that, that mantra that Ron kept on writing about all these things happen before and happen again. And I just loved the way he went back to the beginning, or just before the beginning, and looked at the characters from before the series started, and you had that sense of, you know, they'd, they'd arrived at Terra Firm and they were, they were on a place they could call home and they had to look to the future for the first time. And, you know, he took us all back to where we started and all these characters were saying goodbye but starting new stories. And, you know, for Lee, I thought, you know, I thought it made sense. He was having to be his own person, waving goodbye to his dad and his mum and, and his, um, the, you know, the, the, the love that he'd never quite had. And, who's already dead, let's not forget. Um, and I thought it was something very beautiful and very sort of meditative about, you know, her being around for him always and, you know, and her physical presence not, you know, necessarily being there, but she she exists for him always. And, and you know, then what, everything else that was in the ending, what was that? I don't know, James walking down New York and all that kind of stuff. I liked it. I, I thought it was beautiful. And um, it had lots of resonances for us as, as a sort of family of actors who were saying goodbye and starting new things and you know moving on in different directions. I thought it was uh, yeah pretty sublime, but I know not everyone agrees. Hi, my Hi. name is Kelsey. Um, I really liked the show. I mean, it was like me and 12 guys, like, <laughs> hanging out in Montreal. Um, um, it was like every girl's fantasy. <laughs> um, it, it was, Lord in heaven, you know, I, I, um, 
God, I love the big guns. <laughs> I wish that I could come up with something that actually, like, you know. You're in Texas, is. you're fine. <laughs> I liked, I liked the guns, like these like futuristic guns that like I'd never shot before, and um, I love working in rain towers. I think that it's one of the most fun things to do ever, um, because actors are always looking for motivation, and we're always like, what's the motivation? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? It's really hard to um, to be that um, um, like stupid when there's rain pouring down on your head. You're like, oh, I just found my motivation. It's like, oh, it's literally soaking through my underwear right now. Um, and it kind of textures everything that you do. So I love working in rain. It's the one reason, it's the reason I took the bio and the pilot was because I wanted to do a fight scene in rain. Um, uh, I did Battlestar because I got to shoot a gun. I'm very simple. Very, very simple for the reason that I take jobs. So yeah, that was one of the main things. I, I love to, to do that kind of stuff. And, and then I- What are you I, Oh, Lord, nothing 